Well, this Kwanzaa, this African American is going to show you the personal journey I took this year to discover my roots. You know, with the exception of the Indians, with the exception of the Indians, every American ethnic group comes from someplace else, and their last names link them to a particular culture. Joneses from England, Costellos from Italy, Wongs from China. But we African Americans, because of slavery, lost all links to our last names and cultures. I only knew that my ancestors came from somewhere on the vast continent of Africa until recently, when thanks to DNA, I was able to pinpoint a culture in Africa. And in this program, I will show you how I find, found out and will visit the land of the ancestors. Now if I cry, I'll pay you. Cut the camera. <laughs> it's not often I'll bleed for a story. Wait a second before you poke him. <laughs> but to learn where in Africa my folks came from, I went to the Howard University lab of Dr. Rick Kittles. Kittles has a long history in the field. He used DNA to identify the African origins of remains in a slave cemetery discovered in Manhattan in the early 90s. He told me it would be even easier working with a live specimen. <laughs> As movies like Alex Haley's Roots dramatize, we came to the New World like no other group, ambushed by slave catchers or sold to Europeans after defeat in battle. We were packed onto ships for America and lost contact, then knowledge of our past. You have to correlate what you see genetically with linguistics and archaeology, history. So Weeks later, I returned to Dr. Kittle's lab. So where do my ancestors come from? Well, on your father's side, your paternal lineages originate in Nigeria, uh, the Baden area. He found it by tracing an identifying marker of DNA called the Y chromosome that's passed from father to son. I got it from my dad, Sammy, Sammy from his dad, John, John from Harry Ford, who was a slave and back to Africa. Kittles compared my Y chromosome with a computer database of DNA from across Africa and found it in only one place, around the Yoruba tribe city of Ibadan, Nigeria, meaning those men with that chromosome are my distant cousins. We share a common ancestor. These genes have a particular history. They're passed on generation after generation. 